Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. This morning when I was reading in Proverbs chapter 10, uh, I read this. The son who gathers during the summer is prudent. The son who sleeps during harvest is disgraceful. That's verse 5. Kind of makes sense, you know. You sit back and do nothing during harvest season, and yet you're going to be disgraceful. But it tied those together, and I got to thinking about that a little bit. You know, an oddity that you and I do as human beings is we often will get discouraged when we're doing the right thing. And later on, when we need to do the right thing, because what we're going to do is going to benefit not just us, but someone else. We can easily just quit, right? Why don't you think about that for a second? You're someone who lives off of what you harvest, what you plant, what you're able to gather up and store up. And you're diligent all summer long, taking care of your family, storing up you know, the nuts and the berries and, and all of that, right? And Solomon says, the son who gathers during summer is prudent. It, it makes sense. If you have something you can harvest, you should be doing that, right? And you get to harvest season and you realize your family is well taken care of. You've done well all summer long and you've got your stores in place. And it's harvest season and you know that that field, it needs to get harvested, but the majority of that is going to benefit others who have done nothing all summer long but go to the beach and go um, skiing and, and, and boating and, and motorcycle riding and just out having fun while you were out working. And now you got to get in the field and harvest all that crop so that they will have something to eat later. It'd be really easy to say, no, I'm good. Let them go pick it. Solomon says this. A son who gathers during summer is prudent. It's smart. You should do that. But the son who sits back during harvest is disgraceful. And I'll add, even if you don't need it, you need to pick it. And you need to provide for others. You can't let the fact that other people don't do the right thing discourage you from doing the right thing. That was a big insight for me today to remind me to keep moving forward. And I hope it's the same for you. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless.